Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And uh, we're picking up pretty much right where we left off last time. We have both of our planters up here in the yard. And I took the opportunity to spray them down here real quick with the pressure washer. Just to get everything cleaned up before we switch everything over into uh, soybeans here. And so we talked last time. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, empty out all the fertilizer that we've got in these tractors and get them set up here for soybeans and hopefully herbicide. We're going to see if that works out for us. And so we're going to dump everything that we've got out here and we're going to have to get something to move these pallets of liquid fertilizer in. And then we'll go ahead and get the seed and everything else set up here. Uh, we are going to need to run this uh, semi up to the co-op here and pick up some herbicide so we're gonna just uh, get everything emptied out sort these containers out here and uh, then we'll jump into getting them filled back up with soybeans all right so we're back here we've got these uh, planters all emptied out and we've taken what seed we have left and put Soybeans in both of them. I don't think we're gonna need that much. We've got 75% of our seed capacity in that planter and 97% in this one. We've only got two fields to plant. And so my goal is to run one of these out to each of those fields and uh, get them planting independent of each other just to speed things up. But before we can do that, we've gotta run this truck into town and pick up a little bit of herbicide at the co-op. And so we're going to do that uh, and also take the opportunity probably to set up an auto drive course for this truck in town there. Uh, we've got quite a few auto drive locations already lined up here related to our fields in the farm. However, we don't have any of our co-op type destinations here. So I'll get that done here real quick and uh, maybe we'll check in up at the co-op. All right, so we're up here at the co-op. I've dropped a point in here, and I think I'm just going to take one general path around. I'm not going to try and set up a uh, auto drive course to handle any kind of refilling or anything like that here at this point. We are going to stop the recording here, though, and actually figure out where we can top off our chemical before we head back on up to the farm. Um, I think this is the anhydrous station, but it might also double as a f fertilizer or herbicide, but it doesn't look like it. If I remember right now that I'm thinking about it, I think the fertilizer tanks here behind, or <clears throat> I think these big tanks labeled as water here behind me are actually the liquid fertilizer. Oh, I don't want liquid fertilizer. Where is the herbicide? So I couldn't for the life of me figure out where the bulk herbicide point is. So we've come up here to the store. We're going to talk to the banker, take out a little bit more of a loan here, and go ahead and purchase some herbicide tanks here. And we'll just load them directly into the semi. I can't recall how big this semi is, though. So let's take a look here. I don't want to overbuy. I've got 11,000 gallons. Okay, we're not going to overbuy. So I think what I'm going to do is start out with four tanks here. I know we're going to need more than that as we get into spraying season. But I'm really hoping we can figure out where the bulk buy point is before then. And if we can't, we're just going to uh, probably edit the co-op there and that liquid point to have herbicide and fertilizer so that we're able to buy in bulk however for today this is going to work out great we've got all of this herbicide going right into our uh, trailer here and we're going to be able to get back and get those soybean planters a moving all right we're back up here in the yard with our herbicide so i'm gonna just park this thing right here now if i remember correctly we've got just over 2,000 gallons of herbicide and so I don't want to take all of it. I want to put a little bit into each of these. And so we're going to start with the uh, fill in the tanks on the cedar, I think. The planter here, I should say. 
and I'm trying to remember, I think the fill point on these planters is on the left side. So much like the truck, both of these planters have a left side fill. So we're going to go ahead and pull them out of the way here and load them up one at a time. And I'm just checking the options on that planter. It looks like it's not actually set up to allow herbicides. So we've jumped the gun on purchasing some herbicide here for spraying season, which is okay. Uh, we'll get back to that here in a bit. Um, I'm just so used to some of the other planters that I've used uh, supporting a herbicide while you're planting. So we're going to just take off, get our uh, tractors headed out to the field here. And then we'll uh, we'll cover herbicide all together when we start spraying our fields. So let's take a look at the map here. We've got two fields left to plant, fields 32 and field 24. So I'm going to send this guy on out to field 24 since we're already on the road and in the lead here. Uh, actually, we're going to send him to field 32. He's the slower tractor. So we'll get him going to field 32. And I'll jump over here into our other tractor, and we'll get this one sent out to field 24. And just like that, both tractors are on their way. I'm going to go ahead and hop into this row track here because I'm sure he's going to get out to his field first. All right, we're pulling up here, and I just noticed one of the useful features of auto drive that I often forget about is the estimated time remaining until your destination. And so if I tab over here to the 380, you can see that the uh, auto drive title here, you can see drive time remaining is two minutes and 56 seconds. And so that's extremely useful when you're trying to get a handle on how far left you've got on your auto drive destination. However, we're done with auto drive here. So we're gonna jump into this field we are planting soybeans, and so we're going to go ahead and get course play running here on field 32, which should be able to handle this, I think. We are going to do four headland passes because we have been having uh, some issues with the quad track, having enough room to turn around here. And so hopefully this is going to work out for us, and I'm going to try this select position on map feature and we're gonna click right there for our starting position and then we're gonna generate our course so we dialed it back down to two headland passes because of how curvy it is up here we were getting an odd course and we're gonna go ahead and take this path and you can see by selecting where i put the point i was able to put that off of the edge a little bit here and get a much better course i realized i had multi-tool selected on the initial course generation so we've turned that off and gotten a much more reasonable course here i've gone with three headland passes that was what fit well here with the weird area up top and now we're finally going to be able to get this guy going here and as you can see um because we set our point back a little bit here we are no longer complaining about the wonkiness that we had with where our courses are starting out so we're going to go ahead and get our planter unfolded and send this guy on his way. So unfortunately, even though soybeans do not require any liquid fertilizer, Courseplay is requiring me to have uh, liquid fertilizer in the planter before it's going to let me plant. So I have added some liquid fertilizer here to the planter. It shouldn't be using any as we go through and uh, plant our soybeans here. Uh, in fact, if I bring up the F1 menu, you can see the target is zero, or the application rate is zero, and the target is zero. So we're not actually using up any of our 799.9 gallons of fertilizer. And I'll just remember to clear that back out here afterwards. That's kind of an oddity with course play here. Uh, requiring us to have a material that we don't need. Um, I thought that when I came in here, if I added a fill type, I would be able to get around that, but uh, I've got to look into that a little bit more. Maybe we'll play with that here on the next one. However, we've got this planter going. This is going to take a little over an hour, hour and 10 minutes here to plant this field. 
So we're going to let him do his job and jump over to our other planter here. So we've got the other course generated here. We're going to have a little bit of issues up here in this corner, I think, unfortunately. Uh, but we're going to run with this course and see how well course play treats us. So it looks like there's actually a setting here on the settings tab rather than the vehicle tab that's going to let me turn off the use fertilizer of cedar option so it shouldn't try to leverage fertilizer here we're gonna give that a go and see if uh, once we unfold this thing if it's going to just plant here without requiring fertilizer i knew there had to be an option of some kind in here for that but it's been so long since i've uh had to use it here with course play that i took a minute to find it with the new ui so we've got everything going here we're only planting uh soybeans without any uh, liquid fertilizer needs and so this is working out real well we're actually going to jump back over here into our other tractor we're gonna pause that guy for a minute and clear out that liquid fertilizer i cheated into the system here to get things working um, I just wanted to uh, get things started and didn't realize that we had the option here to turn that off. So I'm going to let this guy get turned and started back on his course so that I don't mess things up for course play here. And then we'll hit the uh, stop driver. Um, actually, I'm wondering, can I clear this out? I can't clear this out while there's a helper on. There we go. All right, we're going to stop this, make sure that that setting's kept, and we're going to go ahead and clear out the liquid fertilizer that we'd put in. It's all gone now. Oops. And we're going to tell this guy to get back to work. Perfect. And that's uh, we've got an hour and five minutes left on this plant course. And I forgot to check how much is going to be field 24 here. If we take a look, we've got about 53 minutes here on this planting course. So with that, we're going to sit back and do a little bit of a montage on uh, our planting here again and check back in with you afterwards.
All right, we are done planting soybeans up here in field 24. We did have to refill the fuel here once uh, in the middle of the field. We forgot to check our diesel levels before we left the yard. So that was a bit of a surprise. So we drove the uh, pickup out here and got us all topped off. And so I'm going to go ahead and send the pickup back up to the farm here first since it's going to get up there a lot faster than the tractor would have. And then similarly, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, tractor heading back up to the yard here as well. It's obviously going to take just a little while longer. And while those guys head back, oh, there goes our pickup actually heading back up to the farm right now on the other end of this field. But uh, while those head back up, we're going to wrap up planting here in the field 32 across from town here. This field's taken just a little bit longer to plant than the other one here. Uh, we are kind of planting on shorter rows, so a lot more turning around, which causes us to take a little bit longer. Plus, if we look at the map here, uh, I actually think field 32 is a little bit bigger. It's 15 hectares compared to 11.45 hectares here. So we're definitely uh, a bigger field here, which is probably why it's taking just a smidge longer here to plant. We should be done in just a few more passes here. Taking a quick look here, I'm guessing that's yeah, maybe two or three more rounds. While we're finishing up these final couple of rounds, I thought I would take a moment to mention that I am going to include a full mod list in today's video. And so if you look in the description, there'll be a link to a Google Sheet that's going to have a list to all of the mods that I'm using in this save game. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the various mods that we're using. And so I thought rather than continuing to answer the questions over and over again, I would just provide the mod list here. Uh, most of the mods I'm using are available on the in-game mod hub. With a few of them, I might be using the PC specific variant that one of the modders has available. For example, Carl Farms has uh, a bunch of the tractors that I'm using here, and he has the mod hub version, and then he has a much more detailed PC version. And so most of the time, I'm probably using the more detailed PC version if there is one available. But like I said, almost all of the mods I'm using are available on the mod hub, and uh, I'll be listing out the mods as well as the a mod author for each of the mods that I'm using and a link to their primary download site so you can go ahead and follow along with what I'm using here in the series and get your hands on all of those mods yourself. So this is our final field here that we're wrapping up and uh, this is really going to wrap up our spring season if I bring up the seasons calendar here. Uh, we don't have a whole lot left to do here in spring. We are going to be jumping into our spraying here this summer. I'm excited to get the sprayer that we've got out in the fields and knock out some of our herbicide here uh, over the coming episodes. And uh, yeah, everything is moving along very quickly here on the Lincoln Creek now that we've got our planting out of the way. I'm absolutely loving the rolling nature of these fields. Uh, just makes it feel alive here. Things are not overly flat, and if I'm not mistaken, if it rains, this is a bit of a low spot, and you get standing water in here. So that'll be something fun to check out here. I know if we take a look at the season's calendar, we've got a bunch of rain in our future here. So I'll be curious to see how that all plays out here shortly. Uh, but either way, the terrain in these fields has kept things interesting as we've gone through and uh, done all of this planting here today in these two fields. And so I'm excited to be on our final pass of soybeans for the year. Uh, this is actually going to both wrap up our soybean planting and the planting that we have to do on our entire farm this year. 
And so we've got a little bit of everything this year. We planted corn, we've got sunflowers, we've got soybeans, and we've even got a field of wheat that we've uh, bought here on the market. So we're going to be doing a lot of different kinds of harvest here when the fall time comes. However, before that, we've got a lot of spraying ahead of us. And so I'm looking forward to uh, getting the sprayer out here in the fields and getting some of our herbicides sprayed next episode. I was really hoping we were going to be able to apply that here with the planter. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. So we'll be doing quite a bit of spraying here next episode, I think. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we've got a great mod uh, that we're going to be using to do that with, though, so I'm uh, excited. However, this is going to wrap up all of our work for the day. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, drop a like. It helps the channel out immensely. That's all for today. Kedrick out. Uh-huh. Okay, course play. It's okay. I'm here to help. No need to throw a tantrum. <laughs>